Hey there, underground runaways. Like every Saturday, it's time for me to discuss an episode of a superhero animated series. Today, I will be talking about the Batman Beyond episode, Where's Terry? If you haven't seen the episode, or if it's been a while and you want to refresh your mind on what happened, you should go watch the episode really quickly. Or you could stay here and listen to me quickly sum up what happened. But if you stay and listen, there will be spoilers. Your choice. Terry is out on the town when he sees a suspicious dude. He follows him into the tunnels. The next day, everyone in the universe is worried about where Terry could be. So Max and Bruce have a reluctant partnership where they search for him. Meanwhile, Terry meets up with a kid living underground who is trying to help Batman get back to the surface. Turns out the man Batman was following was working with Shriek, who is now trying to kill Batman. Can Bruce and Max get to Terry in time? Well, yeah, pretty much that happens. Then everything is right with the world as the kid goes back home. Cue credits. So we've come upon yet another really great episode of this series that I know I've seen before, but I remembered nothing about when preparing for this video. I'm getting more and more frustrated with myself that I've allowed this to happen for so many of these episodes. One of the many things I liked about this episode is the way it handles Shriek. I've talked many times about how the DC Animated Universe handles most of its recurring villains. You introduce a villain with a particular shtick, then the next time you use them, you give them an entirely new shtick, although with the same powers most of the time, because you don't want audiences to get bored with the same thing that they've seen both episodes. For instance, Scarecrow in Batman the Animated Series. He's first introduced with a fear toxin that makes people see their worst fears. Then when we see him next, he's still using fear as a weapon but now it's for an entirely different purpose, to capitalize on failures in sports by using fear to get the results that he wants. This sort of thing happens with most of the villains in this series as well, but this episode doesn't do that with Shriek. Now maybe this is because we've already seen Shriek a few times, and the creators couldn't think of another way to use him that was different than what they had already done with him before. But I would say it's because this episode is confident enough in its premise that it isn't afraid of audiences abandoning the episode when they see that Shriek is back to just using sound as a weapon. That and Shriek is hardly in this episode, compared to his presence that he had in the last two episodes. And the lack of villain overall isn't a bad thing either. In school, you probably remember learning about three kinds of conflict in any given story. Man versus man, man versus self, or man versus nature. A story can be one of these three, or a combination of any of the above. And this episode chooses to put the man versus man stuff kind of in the background, and focuses more on one of the other kinds of conflict. For Terry, it's man versus nature, as he's stuck in a tunnel where he's either going to suffocate or starve if he doesn't get out. For Bruce and Max, it's sort of man versus man, as they're constantly butting heads with each other while they're still trying to work together. I really like that this episode has the courage to shy away from the more typical good guy versus bad guy plot, even if just for an episode. There's nothing wrong with a more typical superhero battles bad guy episode, but it's also nice to shake things up every now and then with something a little different, which is what this episode did. I also like some of what this episode did not do. I'm extremely happy that Dana was not in this episode more than she was. I've never made it a secret that I despise Dana. She has no character at all beyond the nagging girlfriend, and that comes straight from the horse's mouth, if the horse is one of the show creators, Bruce Tim. And she embodies that air quotes characterization to the letter, but she's boring and annoying and not at all interesting to watch. And at the beginning of the episode, I was really afraid we were going to get a whole lot of her worrying about where Terry is, or whining about how much he's never there for her, or some other nonsense that would make me wish I was being tortured instead of watching her. So I'm really happy we didn't get that in this episode. For that matter, I'm also glad we didn't have a whole lot of Terry's mom worrying about where he was. She's certainly not as bad as Dana, but who really wants to spend precious episode time seeing Terry's mom worry about where he is when we could be seeing much more interesting things? And the way Terry's mom is convinced that Terry was never in any danger at all is much, much more believable than the time she didn't seem worried enough when Max was kidnapped by the hunter, so that is a plus. It may sound like I'm overhyping this episode, but I really did think it was that good. Sure, there are some things that were a little silly, like how Bruce seems to just magically know which tunnel Terry is trapped in. Sure, he's the world's greatest detective, but he at least needs something to clue him in on where Terry is in order to detect that information. Or how, when Bruce throws Max under the bus so that he can go find Terry, she then tries to take him with her. Sure, you can be mad at him, Max, but what good does it do Terry if you try to get Bruce arrested when the cops are taking you in? But those are extremely minor nitpicks. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Definitely one of the better ones of this season. But what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you did like it, you're in luck because I do videos like this every weekend. Next weekend, I'll be talking about an episode of Batman the Animated Series, and the week after, I'll be tackling another episode of Batman Beyond. In the meantime, take care and have a great rest of the day.